Yeah, let's talk about Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast recently did a video where he said curing a thousand people from blindness and he paid for a thousand people for their vision to get cured. Uh, people are criticizing him and people are obviously talking all this crap about him because there's some demonic thing behind it. Um, let me let me just watch. Let's watch this video real quick, um, and we're gonna point out some perspective there. Um, and the reason I'm using uh, Moist Critical is because he does bring in uh, some really really good valid points. And so yeah, let's just let's just along along the way as he talks, we don't add our own perspective as well. I really wasn't planning on weighing in too heavily on this whole Mr. Beast drama that's blowing up, calling him demonic for his newest video about curing a thousand people's blindness. Right. Because I feel like the only people that are going super hard on this, you know, making a big hoot and holler, calling it demonic, are people who are terminally online, like a Twitter prisoner, their yeah. soul trapped on the platform, sure. forced to tweet 50,000 tweets a year, mm. and pretty much find every possible thing to be upset about. Sure. I'm still just not convinced there's any real, breathing, sentient people that actually have these thoughts outside of Twitter. I think Twitter, for some reason, acts as like this exorcism to bring out the dumb demon within everyone. It's extremely easy to go on Twitter and say the stupidest shit imaginable and never register how dumb it is. It, I don't know, that's just the Twitter brain rot in a nutshell. It's very easy to do things on there and feel like you're being productive, like you made a mean tweet or you complained about something, thus you're improving the world. Anyway, I'm already getting lost in the sauce here. Uh, I'll break down the situation. Mr. Beast made a video a couple days ago where he paid for people's life-changing surgery mm -hmm. for restoring eyesight, giving them eyesight for the first time. It was a very big video. Performed extremely well, tons of... This video is doing so crazy good. And literally, Mr. Beast gained like 2 million subscribers, you know, in the past, what, 2 or 3 days. 2 million subscribers in like 2-3 days. That is bonkers numbers, all right? Let's get that out of the way. That is insane numbers. And this is where people are criticizing. People think that all of the things that he's doing is for clout and he's trying to, what do you, you know, like what more clout can he get? The man has like 131 million subscribers. Like, are you serious? You know, oh, he's doing it because he wants to be seen like a good guy or whatever. Listen, Let's take your analogy and let's say that you are correct. Let's say that your analogy is right and that he's doing it because he wants to be seen like a good guy. Let's, let's take your analogy. Can we still agree that even though he wants to be seen like a good guy, he's still doing good regardless whether he wants to be seen good or not? Can we appreciate that the fact that he still helped out a thousand people plus to gain their vision back or be able to see for the first time. Can we agree to that? So there was good still being done, even though good was still being done, people are disregarding all of that to just say one person, look at him, he, you know, he's evil or demonic as some people are describing it. And that's just to me so ridiculous, right? To completely disregard all the good that he do just to say that he is, you know, he's doing a demonic deed here because he wants to be praised uh, as someone who is doing good. It, it is not his fault. Let's get this out of the way. It is not his fault that these procedures are so expensive that these people can't afford it and some a YouTuber has to come out of nowhere and pay for these people. Yes, could he have had done that without making content out of it? Absolutely, he could have had done it. Absolutely. But you got to understand that a lot of times, all of these videos, the money that he makes out of these videos go into more good deeds. So he invests all of this money that he makes to make more good deeds. So it's like, you can never please people. I swear, I swear, no matter how good you do it, you know, no matter what, you can never make people happy. And it's just, it's fucking crazy, bro. Tons of views, but it also spawned tons of controversy, which isn't surprising at all. I'm sure everyone saw that coming. This wasn't a shocking revelation. Mm -hmm. It was about as surprising as learning that poop smells bad. 
because everything is controversial to someone, no matter what. Sure. And I know this has been said a million times now, but it is the truth. If Mr. Beast made a video talking about how he found the cure for cancer and is giving it away to like for free for everyone forever, there would still be a large group of people online that would be comparing him to the Antichrist and saying he's only <laughs> doing it as a selfish means and sure. it's exploitative. Like, there is just we've reached this point where everyone has to be mad about, about something. something, no sure. matter how positive it is. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much a giant fucking parody of civilization at this point when it comes to how Twitter responds to shit. But anyway, you make it's, it's ridiculous. It really is. Let let me bring out the the part where he talks about the pretty much the tweet that made this pretty much go all crazy. There it is. About it being demonic and not being able to explain why. So this is the tweet that made this conversation go all wild. There is something so demonic about this, and I can't even articulate what it is. So that alone somehow got 2,430 comments. It's been retweeted over 8,500 times and has 87.3 thousand likes. So it's like... How is something that you can't even explain, you didn't, you gave no feedback behind it or nothing, and, but you're deeming him to be demonic, somehow got some traction. And, you know, it, it sucks. This is where, where people sometimes just want to stop doing any type of good deed to just, you know, fuck it, fuck it. You know, it doesn't matter what I do, you know? If you act like Andrew Tate, you're a piece of shit. If you do good deeds, you're still a piece of shit. So it's like, you know... That's how comments like, you know, fuck it. I'm just going to live my own life and do whatever I want. You know? So it, it's like you can never make these people happy. And it's, it's obnoxious. Which is always such a beautiful argument. This thing sucks, but don't ask me why because I can't explain it. It just does because everything sucks to me. Fuck everyone. Exactly. Fuck everything. Everything's Literally. negative. It's a really <laughs> great point that they're making here. But anyway... Uh, this led to a large discussion and people debating, is it even a good thing what he's done here? <laughs> so let's let me weigh in here. You know, here comes Mr. Beast's unpaid PR guy coming out. Mm, okay. uh, I think it's a good thing. I think there's a lot of good arguments to be made about the state of uh, medical treatment like this. How a thousand people could have had life-changing surgery if they were just born wealthier. Or if they were a bit luckier with their financials. Yeah. If they just had a good spawn in life. They could have been able to afford this life-changing treatment Ooh. and been able to see. But it's been paywalled. And they couldn't afford it. And the only way they were able to get it is because Mr. Beast wanted to make a video out of it. That's a very real problem. But right. it's a problem Mr. Beast didn't create. He's not the super villain puppet master behind the scenes making these treatments unaffordable. Right. This this is so weird to target him. It seems very misguided instead of going after the actual issue at the core of all of this. The gift of sight shouldn't be something that you have to fucking be lucky enough to afford. Treating vision like some kind of DLC paywall package mm -hmm. is so fucking awful a lot of people criticize this because he made a video out of it saying well you could have just done this on your own which you could have and i always agree that that's a very fine thing to point out i've always agreed that doing good deeds in private is far more genuine and authentic than doing good deeds for the sake of uh, public brownie points or reputational mm -hmm. benefits a youtuber may and I, and I agree with that i agree i've always agreed that it's just better to do things in a more incognito way that you know only you and the people that are involved should know about it and i agree with that absolutely agree with that but if you can make some type of money out of whatever you're doing and you can invest that money that you got with you which is a lot of times what mr beast does he invests the money he gets from videos and invest it into more good deeds like, it's a win-win. Like, we all get Mr. Beast has helped out tons of people. It's nothing new. Like, it doesn't matter at this point. The point is, is that he's still helping. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Making a video, giving homeless people money for 12 hours challenge. Impossible. Right. It's like, oh, that's kind of fucking weird. Sure. But I've also always maintained the stance of, yeah, the motivation may have been selfish, but 
those people did get money that is no doubt going to be helpful for them. Yes. So it's a good deed done by a less than good person. And the thing with Mr. Beast is he does do a lot of great shit for his community I'm sure in he does. private. So when he does do these public displays of doing good things, I never get the impression that it's inauthentic or coming from a place of trying to, you know, capitalize on the back of suffering or anything mm -hmm. like that. Like, of course, you can obviously tell it grows his brand, so it is mutually beneficial. Him doing good deeds does also benefit him, maybe not financially, but in terms of, like, subscribers and all of sure. that, it does help him. But both things can be true, that he can be genuinely wanting to help people while it also helping himself. Exactly. But I feel like Mr. I, I, that's exactly, you know, it, it sure, is he helping him? Sure it is. But, you know, is it a help that he desperately need it not really right he doesn't desperately need anything right the dude turned out one billion dollars right he turned out one billion dollar to 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 you know to be able to do whatever he truly wants you know what i mean so that speaks volume on him he's not it's not like he's in there for it because he you know he needs more money and wants more money because that's simply not just not the case i i, I don't think it is i, I believe that when he, whenever he does something, is because he truly wants to do it. You know what I mean? Not because he, he needs something out of it. But if he does gain something out of it, it just comes with it. Not because he wanted it, you know, or badly needed it. But, you know, those are just my simple thoughts on it. And, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Because it's just like, it's, it's, bro, it's disgusting, bro. It's disgusting how people are willing to bring down somebody who does so much good uh, just for... You know, for their own pleasure. It's crazy.